Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, January the 22nd. And as you can see, we are still at the loft. Only difference is John is home this time. So y'all be quiet. Just kidding. He and Dusty are gonna try and be quiet while we are having our chat. Let me see if I can get caught up with you all here. Let's see, so that I can see who's commenting. Um, yeah, so hello and happy Sunday, everybody. We've got one more week here. I'll give you some news about next week, um, and then maybe, maybe we'll get to have the next chat. Um, you know, maybe we'll get to have the next chat after that one. Maybe we'll get to have it in our new, in our new digs, in our new spot. But I feel confident that you all are already commenting, and I just can't see them yet. Oh, here we go. Hello, Mary from, let's see, hello, Mary from Pittsburgh. Let me see if I missed anybody. Hello, Scott. Hello, Carol Lou. Good to see you. Hello, Kim. So I guess there's a little bit of a delay when I do it on my phone as opposed to the Mevo camera. Um, hello, Kim. Hello, Lisa from Arkansas. Hello, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Orlando Debbie's here. Oh, he must not be able to hear me. Um, hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Elaine. So, welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, Anna. Good to see you. Um, we are here in the loft again today. Hello, Katie. Um, maybe just one more week here in the loft. I don't know. We'll always use this, use this as a backup spot, but I have to tell you, it's very inconvenient for John when we are here. So, hello, Kathy. Hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. Let's see. We've got Sharon from Virginia. Hello, Patty from South Carolina. And Sherry... Um, from Cape Coral, Florida. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody here. I think I've got everybody so far. Okay, so today is January the 22nd. It is Sunday. This is the year 2023. Hello, Joanna from Virginia. Good to see you too. If you all are watching this live here with us, hello. If you're brand new, please do go ahead and say, um, is there a surprise for me? No. Debbie, do not get excited. There is no surprise for you. Now, I was just letting him know because he has he has disappeared, and I thought he might want to say hi. Hello, Vicky, and hello, Trish from California. Um, so, yeah, so if you're here with us live, hello, and hello, Sandy. If you are brand new, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. Everyone loves to welcome the new people, um, and hello, Lynn. And if you're brand new, this is not our normal spot. We have moved from our normal spot. This is our old normal spot. And hopefully we will have a new normal spot very soon. And hello, Laura. We'll talk about more about that here in just a few minutes. Hello, Karen. Um, yeah, so today is January the 22nd. This is, I'm, this, I'm Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, and Orlando Debbie, I will tell him you said hi. I think he and Dusty have gone and hidden. So we are here in our loft. We're moving from our old location. If you watch these on, um, uh-oh, hold on. Vicki fell off the wagon and then got run over. It happens, Vicki. It happens all the time. Yeah. Um, and I'll talk more about that in the second half tonight. Yeah, about trying not to fall off the wagon this week while we are finishing moving. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube and you're thinking, oh my gosh, she keeps slipping locations, it's okay. This was our original location. Then we moved into a new location for a couple of years. And now we're moving to another new location to have the chats. And let's see. Hold on. Here is Sabrina from Mobile, Alabama. Oh, no. Sabrina's in bed with COVID. I am so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. And from what I've heard, the flu is, is even worse. So try not to get that to you while you're already down and out. Okay. So a um, little bit of news for today. Well, first... John is home safe. I don't know how many of you all saw um, the drama that I posted on Facebook a couple of days ago. So John had been at a trade show in Las Vegas. And if you're brand new, John is my husband and this is our home. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And hello to all of you. Um, so he was in Las Vegas for a trade show and was flying home. He was flying from Las Vegas to Cleveland, Ohio. We don't live in Cleveland, but that's where he had flown out of. They were diverted to Buffalo yeah, because of weather, and got to Buffalo and landed. And apparently the, the the getting out of the storm part of it in Cleveland was a great idea. Airplane was bouncing around. He said it was really, really very bad. They landed in Buffalo, and as soon as they opened the door, the uh, cockpit windshield exploded. So thank goodness they were on the ground when that happened, or we would not be having the same, we would not be having this discussion. Um, but anyway, so that was a little bit of drama. The only news that I have for January is that for this week in January is that um, we will not be having a chat next week. So I am so, so sorry. Hello, Linda. I am so, so sorry but about next week, but we will not be having a chat next week. We are, um, <clears throat> let's just say, 
we are agreeing to disagree with the landlord of the uh, current um, of the current location that we have been in, which is why I was in such a big hurry to move out. Um, but we're it's not being uh, quite cooperative. Aloha, um, Aloha, Kathy not being quite cooperative so we're trying to exit that building as quickly as we can and the matter as a matter of fact i've given myself a goal of a week from tuesday so it's a 4600 square foot building yeah we're we're going to be lucky to make it uh, by a week from tuesday so chat tonight no chat next sunday night because we have got to got to got to got to got to get everything out and get it to our new location um and i have a week Let's see, a week and two days to get that done. I did go ahead and say by midnight on Tuesday night, and I have a feeling I'll be there at 11.59 trying to get the last little, you know, the last little bit of, you know, things out. But then we will be in our new location, and it'll just be a week or two after that that I think we'll be able to, excuse me, start having our chats there. So thank you, everyone, for your patience while we move. Okay, so that's the only little bit of news that I've got, you know, for this week. Um, suffice to say, won't be around a lot on Facebook won't be here on the chat you know next sunday night but then we will be back to rocking and rolling because that will all be done and over okay and i'm feeling really good about moving to a much smaller space i'm feeling like that i'm going to have more time more freedom and that we're going to get a lot of great things done um, for the rest of this year so thank you all for the well wishes on that and wish us luck while we're moving hello evie and hello loretta okay i need to know last week who had their bottom in their in a chair who sat their bottom in a chair at an actual workshop give me some thumbs ups for that or if you went to a zoom workshop thank you vicky we will always take pray prayers hopefully you're praying for us and for the sick people that i saw go by so thumbs ups for being at in-person workshops or for attending zoom workshops yep i can see lots of thumbs ups and hearts um, if you were here with us live last week or if you um, watched it later on replay, I'm seeing lots of thumbs ups and hearts. Looks like Loretta did both, Lynn did both. Yep, Barbara's all th thumbs ups. Scott had his bottom in a green chair on Saturday. That is awesome. Mary is thumbs ups. Oh, and thank you, Carol Lou. I know that you would that I know that you would help. I totally understand. Oh my goodness, and she is a pro because they just moved out of their house of 40 years. So bravo stickers to everyone who went to an in-person workshop. Linda's bottom was in a green chair too. So bravo stickers. Oh, hold on, Mary. Mary Ann was also bottoms in a green chair. Good, good, good. So here are your bravo stickers to everyone who went to an in-person workshop or watched with us here live last week. Y'all are doing great kicking off this new year, kicking off Jan you know, January of 2023. So good job, everybody. Last week was chat number um, 303, 303. I don't know why the 300 has thrown me off so much more. Ooh, and Loretta lost four pounds this week. Sorry for the little sidetrack. Good job, and hello, Lisa. Good job, good job. Um, I don't know why the 300s have thrown me off so much. I mean, 200 should have been special, you know, whatever, but 300 has thrown me off. But last week was chat number 303, and we were talking about how to build a weighing routine. Um, and I asked you all, last week I asked, do you weigh every day? You know, raise your little hand if you weigh every day, or if you are a once a weeker, or if you only weigh at a WW meeting, if you happen to have an in-person workshop. Um, and I reminded you all that frequency doesn't matter as long as, so Weight Watchers would like for you to weigh somewhere in between once a day and once a week, not multiple times a day. So if you want to weigh every day, that's okay if that works for you, or if you want to weigh once a week, that's also fine. Um, but they are suggesting, and I also suggest, I agree with this, that you not weigh multiple times a day. So many things can happen. So many things can happen during, a, you know, even during the week. If you tried to weigh multiple times a day, mm -mm, that is not going to end well. Not going to end well. Um, and a lot of you all had uh, said that you have the same habits for every time you weigh. If you're doing it at the same time every day, like Elaine, we Elaine weighs the first uh, first thing every morning. Um, Mary weighs pretty much every day. Um, <clears throat> that's me. I told you all last week that I weigh every day, but somebody at our in-person workshop had said that that was static to her, and the number that counts is at her workshop. That's kind of the same thing, you know, for me. Hello, Deanna. How's the arm? How's the gimpy arm, Deanna? Um, so um, I just wanted to remind you that the scale is stupid, and again, I don't mean that in a bad way. It just, it doesn't know. It doesn't know how you did during the week. Um, you know, it's just an inanimate object, and it doesn't get to decide, you know, how you did when and where you weigh are up to you so you don't have to weigh you don't have to wait a certain time of day like we weigh um, on Tuesday nights 
when I weigh at home, I weigh in the morning, but I know, you know, every single Tuesday night at about 545, I'm going to be weighing and I have a routine, you know, that I do before that. So when you weigh, again, doesn't really matter, but if you're going to do it on any kind of frequency, try to do it at the same time. If it's once a week, the same time every week. If it's once a day, at the same time every day and kind of in the, you know, similar um, conditions. Um, and where you weigh, again, up to you. If you want to weigh at the gym, if you want to weigh, Karen says every day in 2023, if you want to weigh at the gym, if you want to weigh at home, if you want to weigh at a WW meeting, whatever, that's where you do that is, you know, is also up to you. And, but last week I wanted y'all to think about um, what's going to happen after you weigh. So, you know, no matter what, go ahead and go into your weighing with, a, you know, with, with an idea in mind. Okay, if I weigh on Tuesday nights, then I know that I'm going to have, we usually plan something, okay, I'm going to call it special for dinner on Tuesday night, like we'll have nachos or we'll have pizza or we'll have something like that. So what you have to get, though, in your, in, in your mind is, okay, I'm going to plan on, you know, when I weigh, I'm going to, then I'm going to have my snack or then I'm going to um, go exercise or then I'm going to go back home and take a nap or I'm going to go back to bed or whatever the plan was, but you have to stick to it. So if you had a surprise weight gain, then you don't need to say like, I, um, I, you know, whatever I planned, you know, to do on that Tuesday night, then I'm not going to say, okay, well, I had an unexpected weight gain. Okay, instead of just having nachos, I'm going to eat all the nachos and all the M&Ms and, 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 or on the other hand, if you had a surprise weight loss that you weren't expecting, you know, don't go off in the other direction. So your homework for last week was hashtag weigh your way, W-E-I-G-H, your W-A-Y, so weigh your way, and I wanted you to decide, you know, when and where you're going to weigh. It was that easy. It was that easy to do your homework last week. So let's see how you did. Um, Barbara weighs, weighs every Saturday morning, and Barbara is here, weighs every Saturday morning before she eats or drinks anything. So I think that's a great idea. She's got her day. She does it before she eats or drinks anything, so she knows, she already knows going in that she's not, this is not from drinking something, this is not from, you know, from whatever she ate. Her weight is just going to be her weight. Um, after breakfast, though, it's off to a training session, and she says that she knows now that the scale doesn't know her victories, and but she does. So even if the even if the scale, you know, the scale can't decide. It can't decide how Barbara did for the week, but she knows how she did. So she knows her victory. So good job, Barbara. Ramona keeps her clothes light and her weigh-ins official every Saturday. So every single Saturday she's keeping she's wearing some lighter clothes and keeping it official on Saturdays um, at her in-person um, workshop. So she's lucky enough to have an in-person workshop to go to and um we did hear a tale, and hello, Vicky from St. Louis, Chile, St. Louis. Um, we did hear a tale um, of somebody somebody weighing in a speedo. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Lighter clothes, Ramona. Yeah, lighter clothes are definitely good. And then Kim, sadly, no longer has an in-person workshop, but she has chosen Tuesday to be her official weigh-in day, and she's doing that from home. That's totally fine. I wish you had an in-person workshop, but that is totally fine. So bravo, more bravo stickers for everyone um, who did your homework this week. Um, thank you, thank you. I love it when y'all do your homework. Casey makes, makes such cute homework badges. I love to give them out to you all. Um, this week, though, we are talking about how to get support for activity. So when I posted the title for the chat, who thought that we were going to be talking about exercise? So give me a quick show of hands when you saw that the um, that the topic for this week was how to get support for activity. Who thought that we were going to be talking about exercise? So I just need to know who thought that. And I'm going to take a quick sip of my water. And I just figured out so on the iPad, it said to swipe, because I wanted to be able to see everybody that was talking, it said to swipe left um, for uh, to be able to see the chat. Just so you know, this is not left. This is left. Anyway, Doi Kelly. Okay, let's see. So Sandra, Sandra, Barbara, oh, we had a hello come in. Hello, Marlene from Florida. Good to see you. Okay, yeah, so everybody thought it was going to be about activity. Me too. When I saw that that was the topic, I thought we were going to be talking about activity. But it is not. 
I was wrong and so are you. Okay, so what we are actually talking about this week is support for activity. So activity is great and it's a fantastic thing to do and y'all know I highly encourage you um, to get, you know, to be active even if it's just, you know, getting up to change the channel on your, you know, television. But if you don't feel supported with this leg, so this is one of the four legs that they're talking about um, for Weight Watchers this month. We're talking about the four the four support legs and one was tracking, one was um, weighing, and one was, you know, is how to how to track. One was how to weigh and what are you going to do with that information. And then this one is how to get support for activity. So this is that third leg. So if you don't feel supported with this leg of your journey, how likely are you to be successful? So if you've got, if you have, you know, so far we have three legs. And if one of those legs, if it, if it doesn't feel supported, you know, you're not going to be very successful on this journey. So um, you can get some cheer, getting cheers from a coach, family members, um, an accountability, but accountability buddy. It can keep you motivated and it can keep you moving. So uh, Weight Watchers has broken it down into three types of support for your activity. So we're not. I'm not saying get up and run. I'm not saying go do a triathlon. I'm not saying you need to go, you know, roller skating or you know whatever. This is all about support. It's about getting support. Yeah, and Mary says um, it helps to have friends in common. Totally. It really does that you have something in common with. So Weight Watchers has got it divided into three groups, kind of three groups of, you know, um, people. And you might fit into more than one of these. Hello, Hattie. You might fit into more than one of these groups. So just hear me out. The first, but, you know, you know me. I had to rename them. Okay, so I renamed what these what these groups are that you could fit into, um, and one of them is um, hello, Jean. It's good to see you. Uh, so one of them I called. I want to dance with somebody. Do, 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 do. So do you like exercising with a group? So give me some thumbs ups if you like. If you are the person who likes exercising in a group, um, whether it's Zumba, being on a baseball team. Um, if you love being motivated, if being motivated by a group is you, give me some thumbs ups. Okay, we got a couple. Or just shout out, I want to dance with somebody. If you love being in a group, so Yoli, yep, Yoli's thumbs ups. And I'm seeing a few, and Trisha is. There's not a ton of there's not a ton of thumbs ups coming coming live. Okay. So many cities, I don't know if you know this or not, but many cities um, have walking or hiking meetup groups. And actually that is one of the things that Orlando and De Orlando Debbie and I um, did when, I, when we first started going down to Orlando. She and Jean says, I wanna dance with somebody. Um, that's one of the first things we did when we started going down there and um, meeting up with each, you know, meet with each other is we went with a walking group. And this was a walking group of people who had you know some disabilities you know some medical issues whatever so we weren't we weren't out there sweating you know and whatever but guess what we were doing we were walking we were walking and we were having a good time and it was a great group activity so a lot of cities have walking or hiking meetup groups um you can join a local sports league um you can even um do, like do a group water aerobics class you know something like that if you're um over i don't know what age you have to be over but you could do a um a silver sneakers um class there's all kinds of silver sneakers things to do um but it can help you to meet new friends and it, all, it can also keep you going strong so it's nice if you like to exercise in groups of people hello terry if you like to be with groups of people you know and kind of get that group mentality going um it's, it's a great way to meet new friends i mean we i met so many new friends um when we were doing um when i was able to go to orlando and walk with debbie i mean we had a great time we really had a great time with that meetup group and it was you know it kept us going i mean it kept us um kept us walking and i think do y'all still do that debbie do y'all still have i know the group is still there um but anyway it was a really good time okay the second one is riding solo and i'm sorry i don't know the tune to that song so i can't i can't attempt to send it sing it for you um so maybe and i already saw somebody say that let me see if i can find who it was Somebody said, let me see. Oh, let's see. Yep, and Loretta, okay, so Loretta also likes to exercise alone. Um, so if you, so maybe, 
maybe you're the person who likes who loves nothing better than plugging in your favorite song sweating while no one's watching um when i'm sometimes when i'm walking I like to walk with a friend and sometimes I like to walk alone. I walk faster when I walk alone. Um, but so maybe you're that person who likes to just plug in, you know, plug in and go on your own. Um, but you need support too. So even if you're walking, walking by yourself, swimming by yourself, whatever the activity is, if you like to do it by yourself, you need support too. So maybe you can ask your spouse to watch the kiddos, you know, while you head out for a solo walk. Or maybe you can find a group on Connect that you can share your goals and your um, and your accomplishments with. So you can exercise by yourself. You can do your activity by yourself, um, but you do need you know you do need some you know some support. So maybe the person who checks you in. Um, okay, so Marianne walks alone and then does aerobics with the group. That's perfect. That's fantastic. So maybe the person who checks you in is your support group. So maybe if you're going to do a singular activity, you know, by yourself, they check you in. Okay, Carol Lou says, that's me. I walk on my treadmill alone, singing as loud as I can. There you go. That is great. And Loretta says, work out and sweat better alone, but also likes classes. Okay, so that's the riding solo. And then the last one is, you've got a friend in me. Okay. That is me. So maybe you've got that one buddy that you can trust to be there, to show up, um, to keep you going, um, and to share the workout with. So that's what Karen and I do. I've said this over and over and over again that um, a lot of lives have been saved by Karen and I walking so much. And we are missing it this last two weeks, the last week and this coming week. Like, yeah, y'all better watch out. We are going to be emotionally scarred after this, these two weeks because we've not had a, we've only had a chance to walk one time since we're moving, since we're moving to the new location. Um, but it is fantastic if you can find an accountability buddy, if you can find that person that you're going to walk with, swim with, maybe play, you know, pickleball with, you know, something like that. Um, and I'm so serious, and Mary's laughing, but I'm serious when I say that lives have been saved by Karen and I continuing to walk. So we've been walking for... Let me think. Casey is 29, so we've been walking for 28 years, probably. I mean, pretty religiously. And um, we try to walk three days a week, um, but it's a great opportunity. So if you have that buddy, I mean, it's, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, um, maybe it's somebody that you work, you know, that you work with, a coworker. Um, but that's a great opportunity to go ahead to get that support group to go ahead and make a regular plan. So Karen and I have, we have a regular plan. So it's Mondays. It's Mondays, Thursday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, whatever, however you want to say that. Um, we're getting ready to change our plan a little bit because of the new showroom location. I'll actually be a lot closer to her on Thursdays for work. So I think we're going to change it up and do Thursday mornings instead of Thursday nights just to make sure if we do it first and we can get our walk in and we just walk. We walk as fast as we can while we're talking, but we don't walk so fast that we can't talk. Um, but I think we're going to switch to Thursday mornings. But if you have that one special somebody, it might be your spouse, it might be your dog. The dog can be somebody too, okay? But if you've got that one special somebody, it's a great time, you know, when you think about support, um, it's a great time to go ahead and pencil it in, like put it on a calendar, write it down on a calendar, go ahead and set an alarm, go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to call you on Mondays and so that we can walk or swim or whatever it is that you're going to do because if you go ahead and get that plan put together then you know that there's somebody else that's counting on you and i can tell you i can tell you there are you know many times that i think oh the weather's just a little bit icky mm, but karen knows i'm coming or oh i'm kind of tired but ugh, i already told her i'd be there or it's a little too thursday or it's a little too monday or it's a little too sunny or a little too rainy or a little too whatever but having it already written down, having it already pre-planned, you know, it's just that's the kind of support you need to keep it up. So go ahead and put that on there. I know I get up and get going more because I know somebody else is counting on me and they probably are doing the same thing. Okay, so your homework for this week um, is hashtag, oh goodness, I just forgot what it was. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it because I forgot to write it down. It is... Oh no, oh no, let me see if I can find it. It is, let me see if I can do this without losing you all. Ah, uh, tag, action, traction. And I can't believe I didn't write that down. A-C-T-I-O-N, T-R-A-C-T-I-O-N, hashtag action, traction. So what I want you to do is 
if you're going to get support from a group, if you're going to get support, uh, at, if you're going to walk walk alone, work out alone, if you're going to do something alone, where you're going to get that support from, um, or if you have that trusted friend or family member, where are you going to get that traction for your action from? So is the traction going to be from, again, from the person who checks you in? Like if you go to Planet Fitness and the same person checks you in every time, they, thank you, Debbie, for sharing that. They might be the person that, you know, that's who you get your support from. They're expecting you to be there. If you um, go with a group and you see the same people every time or you just, you know, y'all cheer each other on, that could be your traction for your action. Or if you've got that one special buddy, again, the dog counts, okay? Um, that could be where you get your traction. So it, your homework this week is hashtag action traction, A-C-T-I-O-N, T-R-A-C-T-I-O-N, and thank you again, Debbie, for posting that. So do your homework, do your homework, do your homework. You have two weeks to do your homework this time. And all you have to do is say if you like to exercise, if you like to get your activity alone, if you're riding solo, do you want to dance with somebody? Do you want to do it in a group? Um, or do you want to, do you have a friend in me? Do you just have that one special person or pet? Um, thank you, Lynn, for posting that. So that's what all you have to do for your homework. And um, you've got two weeks to do it because remember, we will not be here next week because we'll be finishing the move. If somehow we get everything moved before next Sunday, I will backtrack, but I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of stuff left to move. We went and looked at it today. It's a lot of stuff left to move. Okay, so, and if you are super bored, feel free to drive on to Knoxville and help me get moved this weekend. Okay, whoo! So, we have just a couple of minutes before the halfway mark. Um, I am going to keep talking though. This is the um, second half of chat number 304. Reminder, reminder. So if you're only watching the second half, there is no chat next week because we will be finishing moving from our old location to our new location in a frantic move. Talk about having some action traction. We are going to be packing boxes and moving them just as fast as we can. Um, if you're new with us, go ahead and grab um, a sip of water. And we do this at the halfway mark. And if I had any idea where my apron was in this move, I would go ahead and put it on, but I don't know. I don't know where, I'll have to find it. Okay, so everybody grab some water at the halfway mark. We've been moving and shaking today, so I'm super, super thirsty. Yes, Barbara, it is time for some water. Um, in the second half of chat number 304, we were talking about getting support for activity um, I gave myself some support for my moving activity this week, um, and that was a trip to Aldi. So the second half of tonight's chat is um, all about what I got at Aldi. So in case you haven't already heard me say this five times, we are moving from our old location to our new location. Um, the new location has no food. There's nothing there to eat. Um, I did take some almonds. That's it. So it has nothing there to eat. Just realized I did not even, I did not grab any water. So there's no water there to drink and I'm not drinking out of that tap. But I did go ahead and stock up on some things. Hello, Marlene. I did go ahead and stock up on some things at Aldi today um, so that I could snack, so that I could have breakfast, so that I could have, um, you know, if we needed to work late packing, that we could have dinner. And I'm gonna share with you all um, what I got from Aldi. Um, Aldi is not one of those stores that I go to every single week. Hello, Barbara from the Crossroads. Good to see you. So Aldi is not a is not a store that I go to every week. I usually go to Aldi maybe once a month, maybe you know maybe every six weeks. Um, there are very particular things that I get at Aldi, but it seemed like a great idea to go ahead and stock up. Um, yeah, while we're getting ready for the move because we are going to be um, moving fast. We're gonna have hands full. Um, we're going to have, you know, limited help, you know, whatever, just fill, fill in all of the blanks. But I wanted to make sure that I do have food on the arrival end, you know, of moving so that there are no excuses. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, let me show you what I got at Aldi. And I just realized I left three things in the freezer. We'll grab them when it is time for that. So don't let me forget to get the freezer. One comment about Aldi. Um, their produce, in my opinion, is a little iffy. I don't know about the Aldi in your area, um, but I don't know. Their produce is a little iffy. So the produce that I got this week, 
they did have the little cucumbers um, and I love the little tiny cucumbers, the little baby ones. They did have those this week. So I went ahead and grabbed a bag of those. I did get two of the pre-made, of course, cucumbers are zero points. I did get two of the pre-made salad kits. Okay, as janky as their produce is sometimes, for some reason, their little, what's it called, little salad bar, for some reason, their salad kits seem to last longer, like they do better in the refrigerator than some other brands of salad kits, and I do not understand that. But the little salad bar, this one is a sunflower chopped salad kit, um, I do eat, I do eat everything that comes in the kit. I make it into, um, yeah, Debbie says their produce needs to be used ASAP in her opinion. Mm -hmm, I would agree. Yeah, that's why I buy limited amounts of produce from Aldi. Um, but these are, I do use everything that comes in the pack and I do use the dressing that comes with it, but I hashtag bulk it up. Oh, and wait, look, since we're home, since we're at home, look, look what is here. Hashtag bulk it up. Y'all remember that from a couple of years ago, right? Okay, so I do hashtag bulk these up though with like the cucumbers, with some tomatoes that I'll show you here in just a second. Um, but this one is the chop, this the sunflower chop salad kit and one cup is seven points, which is a lot. But if you've seen in a previous chat and I cannot, I cannot think of the chat number right now, but if you've seen in a previous chat, I can make this into a huge, salad okay a huge salad for seven seven points per cup and then the other one i got is the bacon avocado ranch chopped salad kit and that is the little salad bar brand and that is from aldi and that one is four points for one cup and those are always really good i did get go ahead and get some sandwich meat and this is organic let's see it is organic uncured maple smoked ham and it's simply nature which is one of their brands one slice is one point, uh, but I went ahead and splurged on ham instead of turkey because we're gonna be, you know, I don't know, we're gonna be working a lot and I felt like I wanted some ham instead of some turkey. So that is one slice for one point. Then they do have their own brand of um, hummus and I, I'm serious, I stood there, I don't know, maybe five minutes trying to decide which kind of hummus. I do really like the hummus that comes from Aldi. Um, that's the only place my mom used to buy it. So they have a roasted red pepper. I got the roasted pine nut. They've got roasted garlic. They have a seriously spicy. Um, they have a classic. I'm not super wild about the class. Excuse me, classic. But um, all these were my mom used to always get her hummus, and I do really like their hummus. But this is the roasted pine nut hummus. This is good on, um, yeah, and Sandra loves to book up her salads too. This is really good with the cucumbers, with a few things that I've got over here. Hummus is really good as a sandwich spread. So I'll be using this on, you know, my sandwich with my um, ham. And um, it's two tablespoons for two points. Also delicious. Let's see. And Debbie says their 96 or 93% organic ground beef is one of the best. Oh, that's good to know. I did not get any, I did not get any ground beef this time, but that is good to know. They did have, this was an unusual find for Aldi. Um, and again, I don't go to Aldi every week, so maybe it was just unusual for me, but they had spaghetti squash this time. So I went ahead and grabbed a spaghetti squash and they all looked pretty good. Because again, they're Produce is a little janky, but that I can make. I'll show you something else I'm going to use this for um, later, but this is um, this will be a great, I, I, I can make this at the new location because obviously I have three air fryers. I have an air fryer here and two air, I will have two air fryers there. So, um, so I can make spaghetti squash. That would be super easy to make. They had, these were called Cosmic Crisp Apples. Um, we will find out tomorrow when Alyssa gets here. So I'll be picking Alyssa up from school and we will try one of the Cosmic Crisp, Cosmic Crisp apples and I'll let y'all know how they are. It says amazing flavor, uh, amazing flavor and infinite possibilities for snacking, baking. Um, I grabbed it because they were, it was talking about how super crisp they are. Alyssa and I only eat crisp apples. We don't eat like Red Delicious or you know Golden Delicious or anything like that. Um, these were two pounds, let me think, two pounds was like 347. One pound of Honeycrisp was 297 or something like that. So basically, I got like another half a pound 
So hopefully, hopefully, and of course these are zero points. This, we're gonna try here in a second. So these are, I've never seen these before. Has anybody had these? They're called raspberry oranges. Okay, and because they're, it's fruit, you know, they're zero, they're zero points, but these are California raspberry oranges, and it says delicious hint of berry. Has anybody ever tried those? Because we're gonna try it here in just a second. But these are California raspberry oranges. Never seen them before. Grab some. Let's go ahead and try this and see what it tastes like. Ooh, and Debbie says their marinara sauce is similar to Rouse. Um, you're gonna have to tell me if that's what I just bought. Okay, so this is the raspberry orange. Ooh, okay, Deborah says they are good. I've had those. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it has a ooh, it has a very pretty inside. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty the inside of that is. So that is a, what well, smells good. So this is a raspberry orange from Aldi. A find I've never seen. Oh, mmm. Oh yeah. That's quite yummy. It's not just it's not just citrusy. It is a little bit berry flavored. That is quite yummy. Okay, well, I'm glad that I picked those up. Okay, so that is the raspberry oranges. Okay, that was very good. I kind of have a nice little mess here to clean up too though. Okay, those were raspberry oranges. Very delicious, super glad I got those. The next thing, oh, produce wise, the last thing produce wise that I got um, is, I don't think I've ever seen these at Aldi. I usually only see these at um, Publix, but it is the, um, oh, what do they call it? Like the heirloom tomatoes. So it's the heirloom tomato collection with all those little different, um, it does kind of look like a blood orange, um, Debbie, but it's not, it's not quite that red. And it is a different, and it is a different flavor. Oh yeah, and let's see, Deanna, or Donna says, love the knife. Yeah, these are tomodachi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, it's made specifically for oranges and it works really, really well. Um, but these are the Chef's, Chef's Artisan Series. Um, but I do love some good heirloom tomatoes. Um, so we're gonna try them all the, okay, so these are also zero points because they're tomatoes, because they're produce. Okay, that's all the produce that I got. Then I did go ahead and grab some more of the um, 100 calorie packs in almonds and, let's see, almonds and in almonds and walnuts. So in case you haven't seen these before, these are just little grab and go packs. Um, my purse has been empty. So I'm glad I didn't have a, oh, no, nope, I don't have a, I don't have a purse check um, sign here at home, but I'm glad that I've not done a um, hashtag purse check lately because my purse has been deficient, it's been super deficient. So these are just the little snack packs. So they're 100 calorie snack packs. Again, this one is um, almonds and walnuts. This one is just almonds, and they come in these little packs. These are great to leave in your purse if you just need something, you know, really quick. Really quick. Um, it's three points, so that little bag is three points. But nuts are a great snack if you need, you know, kind of a fill-in. You could have, you know, maybe this and then one of the apples or something like that. I try to pair nuts with some other zero-point thing because they're good. They're good for you. Um, it's going to be, you know, protein that's going to last for, you know, for a little bit, but the bag, you know, this many for three points, that's why I have to buy these like this, because if I bought, if I just bought almonds, I'd be going dump, eat, dump, eat, dump, eat, and we'd be, you know, 20 points in before I even blinked. So these are a great alternative to that little three point snack pack. So I bought one of each so I can fill up my purse and we won't have to worry about that as we're going back and forth. This soup, y'all have heard me talk about it before. 
and I always say it wrong. Deutschkusch, Deutschkusch, something like that. Um, I got, I went ahead and got, you can't always find it there. Aldi's the only place I've ever seen it. Uh, Kendall that works for me has looked at her Aldi in Oak Ridge and she, she swears they don't have it. I'm going to have to go look. Um, but the section that it comes in is not real big and I've noticed that they have started like grouping all the soup together. So instead of having just a, like just a section for the potato, just a section for the lentil, you know, whatever, they're kind of all grouped together. But this, in my opinion, this soup is fantastic. Um, it's the best soup that I've ever had. This one is the harvest potato. And the harvest potato, one cup is two points. So let's see, so even, and you can't eat this whole can. Okay, I started to say, even if you ate the whole can, and I'm gonna sneeze, <coughs> excuse me, even if I ate the whole can, that would be six, that would only be six points. You can't eat this whole can. This thing weighs, it weighs one pound and 12 ounces. This is so heavy, so heavy. So the harvest potato, Deutsch Kooch, Deutsch Kooch, however you pronounce it. Um, one cup is two points. Then we have the fall harvest vegetable soup. This one I have not had, so this one's going to be new to me. One cup is two, also two points. And this one is, um, it's fall harvest vegetable soup, and it says a zesty blend of spaghetti and garden vegetables. It looks really yummy. So that one is one cup for two points. And then the hearty pea soup. This one is really, really good with a crusty bread. Um, and it's only one point for one cup. So it's hearty pea soup. Okay, the name is D-E-U. It's D-E, okay. Sabrina wants me to spell the name because I can't pronounce it. It's D-E-U-T-S-C-H-E. -E. So Deutsch, because it's German, Deutsch. And I don't know how to, the next one is K-U-C-H-E. It should say on there how to pronounce it, like it should tell you. Um, but anyway, the hearty pea soup is, let's see, thick and creamy, accented with savory flavors of peas, carrots, and leeks. So this one is only one point per cup. So this one I normally pair with like a, some kind of a crusty bread. And yes, Debbie, that is exactly how you spell it. So one point per cup for the lentil, for the hearty pea, two points per cup for the fall harvest vegetable soup, and two points per cup for the harvest potato soup. Okay, so those are really good, and they're filling, all of them are filling. While we're talking about soup, though, um, this is, in my opinion, the best chicken noodle soup that there is. Um, ooh, and Sandra says they also have a navy bean soup. I haven't, I haven't found that. Yeah, I haven't found that. Um, but they also have the best chicken noodle soup, and it is their Simply Nature um, chicken, chicken noodle soup. And no, Donna, I am confident they are not. Let's just check. Okay, Donna needs to know if they are low in sodium. I am confident that they are not. They're not super, super salty. I mean, like, they don't taste super, super salty to me, but I am confident that they're not low in sodium. No, ma'am. Nine, 910 milligrams of sodium in the fall harvest vegetable the potato is woo, 1,010. So yeah, I think it's safe to say any canned soup, we talked about this before, canned soup, lunch meat, things like that, they're always gonna be high, higher in sodium. But their chicken noodle soup, this is the best chicken noodle soup. I love this one. Every time I go, I always grab a can of it. One cup is one point. And you can see that this is a smaller can. It's a smaller can, so this one I probably would eat, you know, the whole can in one sitting. But this one has two servings per container. So even if, so if you ate this whole thing, this whole can, that's two points. That's only two points for this whole can. So I love their chicken noodle soup. It is so good. Okay, that's the chicken noodle soup. Then Debbie, is this the spaghetti sauce? Is this the marinara sauce you were talking about? So this one's... And here we go again with something I can't pronounce. Uh, oh, and Sandra had the chicken had that chicken noodle soup today. Jardineria, Jardineria. Don't know how to pronounce that. Jardineria sauce. So this was one of the marinara sauces that they had today. 
Um, and I went ahead and got this one. I'll show you why here in just a second because I wanted something that had a little bit of extra flavor to it. A half a cup is one point. So you can have a half a cup of this, um, let's see, let me read the description. Unique blend of classic Italian jardineria and sweet plum tomatoes create a pasta dinner with flair. Create a, okay, I should get some better glasses. Create a pasta dinner with flair. Um, but that is a half a cup is one point. Um, and what I'm gonna try this with, first of all, spaghetti squash. So I can have, oh, hold on a second, let's see. Joy needs to know what the brand is on the chicken noodle soup. Now this is from Aldi, so you're only, you are only gonna find this at Aldi. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. It is Simply Nature chicken noodle soup. And then this is um, Specialty Selections um, Premium Jardineria Sauce. And that, again, half a cup, half a cup is one point paired with a spaghetti squash zero points half a cup from one point thinking this is going to be really good together so that's one of the things that'll be a super simple dinner because you can make the spaghetti squash in your air fryer and um, you can make it in the um oh and thank you De debbie posted the link for the soups above so if you all scroll up in the comments you can find the link for the soups thank you very much debbie for doing that um, your spaghetti squash, you can cook them in the microwave, you can cook them in the oven. Um, I do mine in the air fryer and there is a chat for that. You'll have to go back and look and see what chat number there, that is. Um, but if you go to youtube.com, um, search if you have an egg and then search within the chats, you can find a video on how to do a uh, spaghetti squash in the air fryer. Super simple and it kind of cooks itself. So that sounded like a good combination. And I can also do some of the tomatoes. I could put some of those in there. But I got this. This is not lower points, but I got this to try. So my sister is having some unusual, um, some unusual health problems right now. And her diet is so limited right now on what she can have um, that she keeps sending me links to all this, you know, kind of unusual things and so chickpea pasta is one of the things that she chickpea pasta is one of the things that she's going to be able to have in her very limited um, selection right now so even though this is not any lower points than normal pasta it should be though i really feel like it should be because the ingredients are chickpea that's the only ingredient so chickpea but it is scanning six points for one cup, so I will be counting six points for one cup. But I'm anxious to try this um, to let my sister know, A, you know, how it is. I really, really, really think that it's probably not six points because it's just chickpeas. Um, but I thought that might be, uh, you know, another good combination. So this is chickpea pasta, and it's, again, it's the Simply Nature. This is an Aldi brand. Um, one cup showing six points. I don't know. It's chickpeas. I don't really think it should be. And let's see. What else have I got here? Oh, this. I love their pretzel snacks. Um, and we're going to go ahead and try one of these in the um, uh, the roasted pine nut hu um, hummus. So the Clancy's brand, and again, that is an Aldi brand. Clancy's, um, good pre their pretzel slims. I like these even better than the pretzel, whatever the pretzel thins brand. I, I don't know, I just like the Clancy's better, so I always grab some of these when I go. These are 23, so you get 23 pretzel thins, pretzel slims for three points, and they're that size. So 23 of those is a pretty good size. So 23 of those for three points. And let's try some of the, I've had it before, but we're gonna try the pine nut. Pine nut. Hummus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So good. Yummy flavor. These are not low sodium, but they're not over salty. Um, I don't know. I just like the pretzel. Pretzel Slims from Aldi, 23 of them, three points. 
I also got these for Alyssa and I. Alyssa loves turkey snack sticks. Um, the I don't remember what brand it is that Casey normally buys, but these are so much cheaper from Aldi. So this is Sims brand snack stick snack sticks turkey sausage. It is one point for one of these. Obviously, Alyssa is not counting points, but I did want to point out though. Um, <coughs> oh, Lois, thank you. Lois says, thanks, love all these selection and we'll scope out these soups. And then she says, and you look just beautiful. Thank you. I feel like I look very tired, but, um, but I'm showing you these. These are delicious. These are fantastic with a string cheese and some grapes or a string cheese and an apple. So we'll try some with the, with the apples. Um, but I wanted to warn you about the Weight Watchers math on these. One, one of these, one turkey stick is one. Oh yeah. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara says you have 10 minutes. Don't forget your freezer food. There's only three things in the freezer. So thank you. That's plenty of time, but thank you for reminding me. Um, but the turkey sticks are a victim of Weight Watchers math. So one turkey stick is one point. Two turkey sticks is three points. Okay. So one turkey stick is one point, three turkey sticks, I mean two turkey sticks is three points. Just wanted to point that out because I didn't want you all to be going, oh, that's fantastic. One is one, two is two, three is three. Mm. One is one, two of these is three. Okay, so these are a victim of Weight Watchers math. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, oh, I love applesauce and Alyssa loves applesauce, but look what I found. This is unsweetened applesauce, but it's strawberry and banana flavored, zero points. Kind of excited to try this tomorrow. Not going to open one of them tonight, but Alyssa and I will try them tomorrow. Strawberry banana unsweetened applesauce for zero points. That sounded like a really good a sweet snack to me. Bagel skinnies, they don't always have these. Um, this week they did have... Um, regular flavored bagel skinnies and they and, and they had the everything bagel if i was going to be making some cream cheese i would have grabbed the everything one but for these this with some of the ham with some of the hummus would make a fantastic sandwich make a great sandwich that i could eat you know eat on the go the bagel skinnies are one bagel skinny is three but i mean that's the top and the bottom you get the bottom two these are great toasted and they're also great not toasted. We used to pack these when Casey played volleyball. I would pack these instead of bread because, I mean, look how sturdy. They're soft. They're soft when you're eating them, but they're so much sturdier in the package. So those are three points. This was new to me. I've never had this before. And we do still have time to grab this stuff out of the freezer. But these were new to me. I'd, I've never had them. Has anybody had the Simply Nature, again, that's an Aldi brand, cauliflower crackers. I got sea salt, and they are gluten-free, vegan, made with cauliflower. Um, have you all ever had these? I grabbed them because 44 of them are, is only three points. So we're going to try them. We're going to try them and see what they taste like. 44 crackers. Let's see how big they are. not very big so yeah I can see oh my goodness okay do you all ever do communion those are like communion wafer size okay so 44 is not gonna be a ton I was thinking this box is not that big to have 44 of them so these are communion wafer size crackers but 44 of them are three points but let's see how they taste okay probably won't buy those again but if you like them yeah okay carol lou, carol lou says had those crackers and was not a fan yeah yeah i'll stick to communion wafers actually after i swallowed it yeah probably not gonna buy these again okay so that one's 44 for three points <coughs> Yeah, not worth the three points. Okay, I'll see if somebody else wants these. Let me see if I have anything else out here. Oh, and then I just threw in the random, they had zero sugar Powerade, zero points. Okay, let me grab the three things out of the freezer and it will be about time to wrap up. Okay, 
because it's likely to be very hectic when I'm rushing home, um, you know, trying to get ready um, for the next day, I found these in the chest freezer section. I had never seen these. I got their Harvest Grain Bowls. This one is Southwest flavor. This one is Italian. I had never seen them at Aldi um, before. Let's see, the Southwest flavor is 13 grams of protein, but it's meat free. And it says um, rustic grains, beans, corn, peppers, tomatoes, onions, and garlic, lightly dressed with lime and a dash of cumin. That one is four points for this bowl. So I'll let you all know how these are when we make them. Ooh, and Carol says they're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is Italian, and it says Tuscan. <coughs> Those crackers were not good. Don't buy those. Okay, um, Tuscan style blend of wheat, wheat berries, lentils, broccoli, eggplant, tomatoes, peppers, and onion, lightly seasoned with Parmesan and herbs. That sounds fantastic. So that's the Italian one. And the Italian one is five points for that bowl. So when I cook those, I'll let you know who they are. And Debbie, look what I finally found. I've not found this anywhere else. The frozen avocado chunks. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's Debbie that talks about these all the time. So I did find these at Aldi. They're seasoned choice. It is three-fourths of a cup of these is um, four points. But I'm thinking this in one of these bowls, this in with the spaghetti squash, this um, in with the pre-made salads. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic addition. I didn't have to buy any fresh avocado because as busy as we're going to be this week, there's zero chance that I would have actually gotten into the avocado and been able to eat them, you know, before they went bad. Okay, so, got just a couple of minutes left, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Reminder, next week, <coughs> those crackers are not good. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, they're trying to kill me. Next week, no chat. I have a feeling we will be frantically finishing the packing, and at that point, we'll only have 48 hours left to get out of the building. Um, so, no chat next week. Please do your homework. Um, please go ahead and go to Aldi if you see something besides those icky cauliflower crackers um, that you like. But if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you will let that next video go ahead and roll over. You know, you've got 303 other chats to watch. So why not go ahead and do that this week while you're waiting for me to come back in the following week. And fingers crossed, we'll get everything moved. And then maybe that next week when we are back, maybe we'll actually be able to cook something instead of just talking about cooking something. <coughs> not good crackers. Okay. But you all have a fantastic week. Um, thank you all for the well wishes on the move. Um, I can't wait to show you, show you the new space. We are super excited about it. Um, it's going to be really pretty. It's going to be really cozy and homey. So anyway, I'm super excited about it. But thank you all so much for being here. And I will see you next week. Have a great week. No, I won't see you next week. I'll see you in two weeks. So y'all have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Good night.